Yeah, they take them over here. Yeah. Take it, take it. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. We are very excited for our trip drill day. We have our tickets. Um, this was one of my absolute favorite parks on my 2013 trip here. I've got high hopes because their roster has grown. Park's gotten bigger. They've got some amazing So, rides. goals today. First of all, it's Mother's Day. So, to all your mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. You a real one, Mom. <laughs> we sent her, we sent her mother a little, a little video this morning. <laughs> this is like their signature thing. This is like maple swinging carousel thing. That's cute. I've never entrance. seen one anywhere else. My bone. Okay. So, our goal today is to try some wine. That's my new goal. Okay. Because this is yeah. a wine country We're theme park. We're at a vineyard. And of course, all the major attractions. We're really looking forward to explore, exploring all that as well. Um, what's the first thing we're gonna do? Well, we're, we already know we're gonna yeah. go to the Vacoma, the new stuff. Vakoma and the other Vacoma, the Vacoma, the new Vacoma duo are the coasters that are open at nine o'clock with the park. The rest of the coasters don't open until ten, but they're. It's funny. This park does open quite early for its weird location yeah, out of middle nowhere. Compared to all the other parks in Europe, they usually open 10 earliest. So we are excited for a journey through the park today. Thank you for joining us. We will catch you probably at the Vacomas. Well, obviously we're big Vacoma fanboys and we've already entered Vacoma Dreamland. Look at this power duo. Very cute, very nicely landscaped. It looks amazing. Kifakoma STC and its trenches. It's landscaping and dispatching now, so we'll catch a glimpse of it. In fact, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this ride doing its thing. So beautiful. So we just got off of um, All Super Comp. Yeah. Super, super, Perfect. super good. Really cute. Perfect. Not super intense, so it's not like we're, we're talking B and M invert intensity here, but we're we're talking really excitable, fun layout, airtime on an invert. I think that was the biggest takeaway from this. Yeah. Inversions are quite smooth, but they're not like super whippy or anything like that. Yeah. It is the airtime moments. This thing is filled with this airtime hills where. Despite the track being above you, you get so much air time. So that's something that I really, really enjoy about it. Yeah, really marvelous. Great layout, the terraforming, the landscaping, um, the interaction with the other coaster. Um, just everything is just perfect. I just feel like they couldn't have a... You couldn't ask for a better, uh, like, modern invert at this point. Just, just a really great overall pack. It's a very different approach. I don't think there's any invert in the world out there that's like this, and I think that's why I enjoy about it so much. Great ride. So yeah, we're uh, on for ride number two. Yeah. Give another, uh, give another run before the rest of the attraction of the park open. But yeah, first ride, perfect. So we just got off of Help Overcome again, and this time around we're on the front row. 
Amazing. That's really, just exactly. This is definitely really. a front row ride. I mean, I feel like most inverts are front row rides, yeah. but it's particularly good in the front row. Um, got really creeping up in my favorites list. One of my favorite inverts for sure. Isn't my very favorite in the world? Hard to say. Um, this is good stuff. I mean, look at this. I'm obsessed with this. It's area. a great it's area. Fun. It's, it's an amazing marvelous. setup. My favorite thing about Hell's Uber Comp is it has this second barrel roll here, and then you exit the barrel roll into a right turn 270 downward helix, and the sustained forces on that are And then it goes into marvelous. the airtime hill. And then an airtime hill, and then this little this little egg turn here that I'm capturing forever on film. I'm just gonna film. So right here, it exits this that helix into here, a right there turn. Is crazy. That is banger. And then that boom, is a banger. Airtime. Gorgeous. Yeah, overall great yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right, now we're heading into the rest of the park. Yeah, we've got lots to explore. Uh, ten ten o'clock. Almost ten o'clock. So uh, Mahmoud, Gigantasau, and uh, Karako. Karako all waiting for us. But yeah, awesome area. Really, really beautiful. Great start to the day. We'll come back later, take some more pictures, and ride the family boomerang, yeah. which has quite the line. Oh look, and then there's the fame, the support, the store. Oh, and then it's the famous board. So this is a historic protection area. There's no road signs for it. It's kind of right cute. Um, and they live on the ride. There is one who refuses to leave the support even when a train comes coming by every 30 seconds, whatever, or every minute or two. Um, it has completely taken over the support. As you can see, the color of the support is no longer green. This bird has done all of its business right on the support. And it will not move. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it will not move. It will sit there. And it will live there until eternity. Might as well film the coaster another time. And have you guys watched Mr. Stork, or Woman Stork, whoever it is, for fear you to go anywhere. So we're gonna get a little racing moment if we're lucky. Alright, Mr. Stork. Nope, Mr. Stork is not here. I should have named it Hall's Uber Stork. Hall's Uber Stork. Some interaction happening here. Ah, look at this! What? How cute was that? Dueling coaster moment. Now that's how we call sensational. We went through just now it used to be just kind of like the plaza and then the park really started here. Like these were where like the first ride would be. There's the wine bucket ride. Wherever garlic is over here, it smells so good and strong. Wow. I want it. Wild garlic. <laughs> They have lots of spinny rides, lots of garden tour rides. And this is the excess platform, this is so cute! We love it, love to see it. In true Euro Park fashion, landscaping is on point. People are eating all sorts of snacks, I am already ready for snack. It's 10 o'clock, not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet, I'm ready for all the food, let's go. Yeah, by the splash down, I saw that. And the water is green, because this is a European park. And we don't really filter our water that well. We don't put a bunch of chlorine in it. Here's our little bathtub boat. I'm sitting in the back. Take a little shower. Ah. 
Look at this. Dungeon. So there's the infamous part of the queue where you go by the splash down and you can get really wet. So my goal is to walk by that before a boat decides to go around. <laughs> it just soaks yeah, the game. Oh, there's Caraco. Caraco. I just saw the episode. We're gonna go right this first though. We just got off of the uh, amazing yeah. log swim. I am wet. We had a very long lot. Uh, we had a very long log swim ride because I guess the, we call it the block flume now because it was stuck on some sort of block operational issue where we just sat in several blocks for a minute. Um, but still, phenomenal flume. Really fun. Did they just turn the waterfall off on top? Yeah, I think they did. Did they just... I don't even know what's going on. But we got the ride and it was fun. So that's awesome. Now we're going to go head to the Gunsau, the bobsled from Gerschlaue. So it'll be next. It's nicely woven in with the rest of the lock flume. Ah, look at this 3D art. Now the flume's going again, look. Oh, now the flume is going again. the waterfall start and stop. That's hilarious. Uh, look at this wild mouse doing wild mice things. Oh, buffs that I should say. But yeah, they're still having block issues, dude. This park is such a vibe. Just want to lay out over here. I mean, look at these people with the picnic baskets and their picnic blankets. It is just a total vibe up here. Gorgeous. Ah. It is the prettiest cues on earth for me. Do a little videotaping here. There comes a boat. The queue for us again to sell is Quite impressive. This explains the explains the carriage situation on the ride itself. It's uh, really impressive. Wine country Germany vibes, but in the best way possible. Love that. Keep moving the camera. <laughs> More theming. Oh, there's the station already. We're doing good. We're doing good. They love their little mannequins and props here. For real. So. First things first, we learned the hard way that I am too tall for the front. But we, <laughs> this but poor we ride operator was not having it because I'm over here trying to stash myself into the front seat and he's telling us like, oh no, get up and switch seats. And then these other girls were sitting behind us. I didn't realize that he meant like switching seats right now. I thought, you know, I know what's going on. And the girls were so sweet. They were trying the to girls are like, they're like, they speak English. But they and like, he's like, oh, I don't speak English. So eventually, you know, we figured out pretty quick what we actually had to do. So we sat in the row behind them. But uh, it, it was kind of funny. The front row looked like it had more room. The back row actually. Because you know we rode from Helsing yesterday, which is very similar trains. But uh, you know I fit in the front row fine on on those on the newer bulb sets. So I really didn't think it was going to be an issue. Anywho, now we're on our way to Caraco. I guess we should talk about the fact that um, Segundo Sao is actually really good, super smooth. Maybe be the smoothest um, bulb set goes of Gersh Gersh I've ever ridden. Very it's first so coaster. smooth. It's beautiful scenery. Almost 25 years old now. And the whole integration of the Lock Flume, which is awesome. The whole castle yeah. thing. Super neat. Yeah. Really fun. It's really Look lovely. at the line for Mammoth. Everyone's waiting for Mammoth to open. Did they just open? I don't know. Did it? Is there, was there a celebratory I clap? Some, I see some shifting. I mean, I, would, I assume I would see at least one train run. Yeah, we haven't open. even seen or heard it. 
Yep, the line is open. <laughs> I'm just running across the field in Germany. How how German is that? Ah, exciting. Mammut, mammut, mammut. The Gerstlauer wooden coaster. This park is a Gerstlauer standby park. And now I also for Vekoma, of course. So the queue for Mammut is themed to saw, wood sawing, mill saw milling, whatever the appropriate terminology for this is. This park loves its mannequins. Dreamsville loves their mannequins. They have all of these characters for like the lawn flume and for boots. And they're all like, you know, doing their thing, living their lives. The Sunk de Sao has a very detailed queue. Totally. With all these mannequins. Hello. It's very cute. Yeah, overall, nice aesthetic for sure. Well, it was better than Bandit. It was better than Bandit. However, the legroom is pretty miserable in this thing. So I think the thing that I... Uh, so there's a there's a little bit of vibrating. Like the ride runs and tracks very smoothly. It's a little bit of vibrating, like like a yeah, smooth vibrate, not like a, not like a shattering. It kind of feels like a like it kind of wobbles. But the problem is with the legroom on these trains is that my knees were slammed against this like plastic wall. Yeah. So every movement that the train made, my knees were like getting crushed. So that's I think the part I just didn't like about it very much. Layout yeah, is very fun. It's a general, generally speaking pretty smooth coaster. It doesn't run terribly at all, but. Um, it also doesn't run as smooth as it could run for a prefabricated coaster. Um, so yeah, overall, not my fave, but um, it, it fits really nicely in the park, that's for sure. And people really seem to love it. Yeah. It's like the fave. The so ride for sure. Yeah, Mammut. We're gonna move on to Karako next. Yeah. ride of trip is this coaster here. So that go. A Gerstauer. Gerstauer Infinity Coaster. One of Two the very first. Two Infinity Coasters. One of the first indeed. It is an inversion heavy attraction. This is the park's first like inversion heavy attraction. Yeah. yeah. This is before they are inverted added a couple years later. Whoop. So we look forward to riding it. It's beautifully themed and landscaped as everything else here seems to also be. It looks wonderful. When I came here, the ride had been open for less than a week, and they hadn't finished the station or anything, but it was still open to the public. So this is uh, all new. Today. Mannequin chips. All right, we just got off uh, Caraco, um, the Gerschlauer Infinity Coaster with two trains. Uh, sorry, with two rows per train. 
which it actually rides really really well um one of the better rides here in my opinion really enjoyed it really smooth the fact that this ride is how old now um, older than 2013 like it's this is on season nine um or i guess season 10 now yeah 2022 running great here here it is yeah i think it's definitely one of the best of the gershlauer coasters very smooth yeah it's even you can you hardly even hear it and you, there's not really a rattle to it no That's shuffle layout. i, I think the best part the is layout. indeed the layout and then the landscaping of course is wonderful everything about it it's just grown into itself very nicely and i'm just relieved that it's aged as well as it has and it's such a cute layout. It really is the layout for me because it's um, a bunch it of just does a bunch. But it has inversions. And it has some great landscaping and tunnels, all that kind of stuff. It's just really nicely integrated. And I don't think I've seen a dive like this one behind me on any other Gerslauer. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it reminds me of, of um, Saharan's Gold Rush. Yeah. The finale of that ride is a sharp, but taller, bigger version of this above us. Um, dive loop, yeah, quite spectacular. I think those may be my two favorite elements on any Gerslauer Infinity Coasters area. It is so area. snappy coming out of this. It's awesome. It's great. Schnee, schnau, schnau. Now what we have left to ride? Um, just just small coasters. So we're gonna go ride some small coasters, grab some food because food here looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's next. So we're gonna go ahead and ride the rabbit ride here at Tips Hill with the beautiful queue, nicely landscape. That's everything else here is. Uh, I'm just here for the views of Caraco because that is hovering over us. Doesn't look too wet, the rabbit ride, so we'll see. We're always uh, down for a good looking rapid. It appears that maybe it's slow for a drop on this. Both are moving fast. Oh, there's a little, there's a little drop on this. Okay. Okay. Look at this. Okay. Oh, too bad. Okay. It is lunchtime lunch in Tripstrill. At Tripstrill. We're enjoying one of the better lunch views you could ever hope for. We have a uh, vegetarian, like, I guess, hummus kind of fry burger. Now this is fries. I got myself a little salad with yogurt dressing. Very German yogurt dressing. So, excited for some food. We just did another ride on the Gazelle. Running great. Very smooth, very fun, very themed. This time I made the right choice and actually sat in the second row. Yeah. We didn't lift another problem because there was nobody else sitting in the front row. So on the right up, so I kind of like, we're sitting in the front, front row. And then I found someone for the front row. So we're good. We got on. Having picnic. Uh, this is such a vibe. Very Euro park vibes. So yeah, so far. Mostly because I feel like most European parks have some sort of grass patch with just a land. Yeah. Which is really pleasant. I can kind of lay, but I would fall asleep then yeah. because I'm tired. I need some coffee. Yeah, so we're gonna go um, back over to the uh, the older side of the park, 
where we're gonna ride some of their uh, their yeah, we sweaty were, we covered transportation rides. Here. We rode. They have some kid. They have the kid goes to left. Yeah. They have a full dump left to get on. We also want to get a waffle. I want to get a waffle with espresso. Oh, look at the life of a Sounds good. Yeah. Larfo is popular. That's crazy because like you could be standing somewhere in the queue, unable to just like to move or defend yourself from the splash of the plume that comes. But yeah, this side of the park is really cool. We've ridden everything over here. A couple times. We did the flume, we did the rapids ride, and we did each of the three coasters here twice. So now we're gonna head back to the older part of the park, which is really nicely forested. Yeah. Lots of landscaping. Overall, great look, great atmosphere. We had lunch, as you guys could have seen in this video already. So we will see you on the next ride. Kitty coaster time. Let us see. There is a line for this thing. We maybe should have ridden it earlier, but we had other priorities. And here we are. Nonetheless. We're gonna do a wine tasting on the wine museum because everything here started with wine. We're in wine country, fish. Yeah, I feel like more people should know that there is a wine theme park. Yeah, and this is it. It is a wine yeah. theme park. Yeah, more people should know that this exists. Wine vines. How the vine? Haha, <laughs> that's fine. Okay. Like, it seems like a perfect social media clickbait level, almost like oh, totally. this theme park is themed to wine. I mean, we're going to a wine museum, we're it gonna really do a wine is. tasting. And they have wine themed rides too. Like, come on. Love it. So once inside, you get to pick which wine glass you want. It's included with admission actually. Yeah, just to clarify, it's still included with admission. So you scan your QR code that's on your ticket, so don't lose your ticket. Because then you wouldn't get this. And then there's a whole museum. And then if you go down here, to the Keta, which is the collection cellar. Included wine glass. Oh yeah, there's some rides in here, it's mm -hmm. cool. I guess there's rides in mine too. Is there no mine or just landmark shows or rides? Fun, awesome. Let's go ahead and head down towards the cellar. So we'll get to try some wines from Tipsville. Look, so cute. I think I say cute a lot in these vlogs now. Don't know why I did that. But here we are. Oh, it smells so good in here. 
awesome. It's the wine very much so this is like cheers <laughs> that was great gee I like a dry wine that's very good there's enough for a second a little museum of wine tasting and to be fair this for 250 is actually a pretty good deal or two 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 bucks each yeah two euros compared to what the wine glass of wine goes for in the store and the, the goblets are complimentary yeah, so you keep it as a souvenir. So yeah, the goblets are free with admission. It's nice and cool down here. Yeah, this is a vibe. Successful little wine tasting run. Whatever that's in here. All right, we're now heading out to. Wait, I want to loop around. Let's loop around this way before we get the bowl. The whole park, and then we're gonna head back to where we started our day and wrap things up on the balconies. That's right. We got waffles, yes, chocolate waffle. sauce, waffle time, and they're very hot. I don't so even know. Gonna wait eating them. Yeah, I don't know. Tear a little, little piece off. I had a little bit of it. Yeah. Oh, good so good. good yeah. Stuff. Haven't had it with the sauce yet, but it's like very hot. So we'll reconvene on these animals. We have now left the old part of the park and we're back at the newest additions. Now we're gonna get on the Junior Tacoma Boomerang. It's called Full Dump, which intertwines with the inverted coaster. Like teapots. Oh, that's really cute. Good stuff. <laughs> We finished our day with a ride on Pops of a Comp. A back seat and a front seat. Absolutely phenomenal ride. Favorite thing here, I think, for me. It's yeah. a great addition. The way it inter it's integrated along um, with Full Dump and it's. And Full Dump was that. great too. We did. Look at our racing behind yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a really good. Amazing. I really we love enjoyed Full Dump a lot. Um, and, uh, and we rode the little drop tower. <laughs> the classic, like <laughs> it was like no, there was there was never a lot of air time or anything on there, but it was fun nonetheless. It was cool. Um, so uh, uh, we're yeah. we're heading out of the park. We obviously couldn't couldn't leave without riding this a couple more times. Absolutely phenomenal ride. Integration is beautiful, like everything else at this park. Really, really nicely landscaped. Um, great layout. Uh, favorite ride here for sure. Absolutely. If you haven't ridden it yet, come out here to Tipsdale. Yeah. 
Trips Girl, thank you so much for having us. We it's been a real pleasure. We're so happy to be here, and um, we look forward to coming back in the future. We will definitely come back. Yeah, you've got some amazing attractions. All right, well, all right guys, see you in the next vlog. Thank all you. Right. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>